triple seven and in today's video i'll be showing you guys a cool program that actually i personally made uh, along with a few other contributions from other people um for the usc rubber ducky so i have done some videos on this before if you're more interested watch my last video which really shows off what the rubber ducky can do but essentially it's a keystroke injection tool so it can type things really fast um you basically script it and then it can type things out really fast so for example an example code for it would be like this right here which can open notepad and say hello world so i, I like to play around with the, with the ducky and honestly i think it's a lot of fun but one of my biggest complaints was lack of um really like ide support so for scripting the language it's not very uh, user friendly if you don't write if you write a bug or whatever the case is so I kind of been working on a open source project and uh, it's kind of ready to be released. And so I thought I'd make a YouTube video on it uh, for two reasons. One, I want people to try it out and uh, give some feedback as well as just use it. And second of all, if anybody anybody out there is a developer who wants to, or who can code and wants to, and is interested in helping out, then uh, for sure uh, you can contact me or you can just, you know, you can fork it and make an improvement and send it my way, etc. But anyway, for the average person though, you just want to know how to use it. So this video is going to show you guys exactly how to use it, uh, as well as what it can do, and uh, why you should try it out. So uh, this is the main GitHub page for it. It's completely open source. So you have two different options when it comes to um, running this program. So you can either download the whole project file, so you can just commit, you can uh, pull this whole project and then compile it yourself just using Visual Studio. It's written in C Sharp with .NET. Um, or you can go ahead and head over to releases, which will also have in the description below, and you can just download the, the compiled version if you don't feel like compiling yourself. So you can go to the beta release and just download it, and it'll download there, and then we'll just open it up real quick. So inside you have these four files. Uh, they're all they're, they all have to be there uh, except for hello world hello world is just the hello world script uh, I just have it in there for testing purposes um, but otherwise they all have to be in the same location so you can create a new folder for example so I'll create a new folder and call it um, toolkits and now I'm going to take all these files and copy them in there so The program itself is obviously the exe file, so go ahead and open that up. You may get this error, so you're going to say yes to it. And this is the program itself. So the program itself uh, has a couple different features, and I'll go through those as they pop up. So the first one, obviously, you have to load your ducky script. So uh, we'll click load, and we'll just load in the wrong folder. We'll just load in the Hello World script. So hit open. Now the first thing you can do is if you press edit on the program, it opens up notepad with the current script set up. So you can see that that's the current script right now. The default one that I have in the folder there just opens, it's the first script you get, it's the hello world script. So the first thing a program can do is it can validate code. So the validate button goes through each line of code and validates that what you've written down is a valid function as well as a valid key for that function. So for example, I'll break my script just to show you guys. So for example, delay has requires an integer value afterwards uh, for obviously how long to delay for how many milliseconds. So let's say I change this to like just some random jargon with numbers in it. This is not a valid delay function because it's not a valid number. So if I go ahead and save this and press validate on the program, not only will it tell me there's an error, it'll tell me what line it's on and a more descriptive error than what the, the ducky uh, encode jar file would do. So it, what it does is it goes and checks line two, it goes each line because it goes, okay, it's the error line two. And it tells you that the integer following delays, well, not an integer. So it's making an integer. So if I go back to it, and fix that. So if I change this back to 500 and validate it again, this time it will say there's no problems found. And no problems found, some new options show up. And the first one being is execute script. 
So this is probably the, the, one of the more main features of this program. It actually can practice your ducky scripts on your own computer without actually needing to uh, put them on the ducky. So normally, if I wanted to, let's say I wanted to test out this Hello World script, I would have to right click, open a command window, do java-jar, and then do uh, duckandco.jar dash i, it would be hello world text, dash o, and then do like whatever name I want, slash path to wherever it compiles. I then have to take this file, put it on the SD card, pull the SD card out, put it on the normal ducky, close the door ducky, plug the door ducky in. Where with my program, you can just uh, press execute and there you go. It just typed in, it just did the whole script. So, and just to prove you guys that it actually works, I'll change this to uh, I'll change one of the values. Execute again. So you can see there, it is reading it properly. So that is the main feature. Um, it supports, for what I know, all of DuckyScript. Um, this is part of the reasons I'm releasing in beta. I don't actually know that every single script in the world will work. And that is mostly because um, I can't test every single script by myself. It'd be basically impossible. So um, I thought I'm releasing it in public beta. So another feature this program has is delay function. So this delay function sets an extra delay in milliseconds um, between each function that doesn't affect the script. So it doesn't actually um, set a delay in the script. It just sets a delay on through the program. So for example, let's say I wanted to add a one second delay. So I do 1000, set delay. And now if I execute, every function is going to take a one second pause in between. So you're going to see now it Waits a second, it's okay, opens up, waits another second before it types in hello world. So that is what the delay function does. Lastly, we have the duck encoder, ducky script encoder. So this is a form that allows you to uh, simply encode the text file into a binary file, which is what it needs to be like when it goes into um, the flash drive for the ducky. So for example, let's say I wanted to do it, like I said earlier, I'd have to open up the command prompt, do duck and code jar dash uh, I or Java, Java dash jar duck and code jar to do all that crap just to get the binary file. Uh, in this program, you can simply open this menu, choose where the file is going to, you want the file to go. So you could choose your flash drive if you'd like. For example, though, I'll just choose the desktop. And then I can give it a file name. So I'll give it like, uh, I'll do uh, output. And then we'll hit encode. And you'll see by successfully, you know, now on the top, right, top left hand corner, the file is there. And of course, you can choose any location you like and any file name you like, uh, as long as it ends in .bin. So that is pretty much it for this program. Uh, the only other thing that I have to mention is that uh, because of Windows security permissions, I can this program cannot type when UAC is uh, enabled. So if you have UAC enabled and your script prompts UAC, so if you need to do anything admin wise, uh, I do suggest clicking here. It'll give you a little bit of information about it. And if you click yes, it'll bring you into the control panel and you can disable it just for while the program's running. Unfortunately, I don't know of a way of personally disabling a UAC through code. Uh, I do know you can do it, but it prompts a restart, which is kind of useless. So, and obviously it's a security feature of Windows, not allowing programs to turn off UAC. So there's really not much I can do with that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So as long as UAC is disabled, this program should work pretty much 100%. Uh, like I said, it is open source. So you can check out all the code yourself to make sure if you'd like. And uh, yep, that's pretty much it. Uh, the only thing left is basically about the about page. So this program was developed uh, by me, uh, pretty much the whole thing, but I have had contribute contributions from Nicklet and Ryan. So thanks to both of them for, uh, Ryan did most of the GUI and Nick has helped out with some of the 
and code form in some other, small, other places too. So huge shout out to both of them for helping out as well. So like, guys, like I said, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're interested in checking out the program, I'll have a link in the description below to the releases page where you can just download the this page here, where you can just download the zip file which all with all the uh, files, as well as if you're a coder yourself and would like to help out on the project, you can definitely um, submit your contributions to the project, as well as even if you're not a coder and you found some issues, if you want to create an issue under the issues list, uh, that would be literally just as helpful. Because obviously, like I said, there's a lot of different combinations of scripts up there and testing them all is very hard. So if you uh, test your script and it doesn't work, uh, if either you could just post your code um, in the comments below is fine too, or if you post the code in the issues section, I can look into it. And uh, yeah, so you guys, that is, uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. At least I'll have a link in the description below to everything, to the project. Um, but otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in future videos. It's the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off. <laughs>